Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Tuesday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in here. Big slate today, starting with the Atlanta Braves versus the Miami Marlins. Miami opening up as road favorites at minus uh, 125. Atlanta plus 110 with the over under at seven and a half. Braves coming into this matchup 19 and 10. The Marlins 16 and 13. Pitching for the Braves is Bryce Elder with an ERA of 2.17. Pitching for the Marlins is Sandy Alcantara with an ERA of 5.34. Elder, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, Sandy, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Braves coming off a Mets loss. Uh, the Braves 10 and three on the road against Miami, 12 and three straight up against Miami. So they've been very good against the Marlins here and um, getting underdog value for the for the Braves. I'm gonna take Braves plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Detroit Tigers. Detroit opening up, or the Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 150. Detroit plus 130 with the over under at eight and a half. Mets coming into this matchup 16 and 13. Detroit 10 and six, 10 and 17. Pitching for the Mets is Joey Lucchesi with an ERA of 2.19. Pitching for the Tigers is Michael Lorenzen with an ERA of 7.07. Lucchesi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Lorenzen, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. Mets coming off a Braves win. Detroit on a two-game losing streak right now. Um, the Mets are 7-3 and three on the road, playing well on the road right now. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to lean with the Mets on the road here. Next matchup, we've got the so we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Tampa Bay Rays. I've looked everywhere and I can't find any line on this game at all. No over under, no line, no nothing. So uh, I don't know what's up with this game. Uh, so just find out more info on this game. We'll see what happens. But I literally can't find any lines on this at all. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Washington Nationals. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 145. Washington plus 125 with the over under at nine. Cubs coming into this matchup 15 and 13. The Nationals 10 and 18. Pitching for the Cubs is Hayden Wisniewski with an ERA of 4.03. Pitching for the Nationals is Trevor Williams with an ERA of 4.18. Wisniewski, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Williams, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had four strikeouts. The Cubs, coming off a Washington win, uh, beating them five to one yesterday. Washington one and four in their last five right now. Uh, Cubs are four and one against Washington. Um, yeah, uh, Wozniak, he's been pretty decent on the mound. Not much of a pitching advantage here, but... I'm just going to roll with the better team, and I'll take Cubs on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Cleveland Guardians versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 175. Cleveland plus 145 with the over-under at 7. Guardians coming into this matchup 14 and 15. The Yankees 15 and 15. Pitching for the Guardians is Tanner Beebe with an ERA of 1.59. Pitching for the Yankees is Garrett Cole with an ERA of 1.11. BB, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Cole, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Cleveland beating the Yankees 3-2 to two yesterday. Um, Pretty even pitching matchup right now. I know Garrett Cole's been great this season, but BB coming off a very nice start on his on the mound. And uh, I think I'll take a shot with the Guardians plus one and a half on the road. 
Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Chicago White Sox. Twins opening up as road favorites at minus 175. The White Sox plus 145 with the over under at eight and a half. Twins coming into this matchup 16 and 12. The White Sox 7 and 21. Pitching for the Twins is Joe Ryan with an ERA of 2.81. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Kopech with an ERA of 7.01. Ryan, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Kopech, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had four strikeouts. Minnesota coming off a Royals win. White Sox coming off a Tampa Bay win, but that was their first win in a few weeks. They're one and nine in their last ten right now. Um, yeah, I really don't just don't trust the White Sox and uh, Joe Ryan has been good on the mound. I'm gonna take the Twins on the road. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Boston Red Sox. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Boston plus 120 with the over under at nine and a half. Toronto coming into this matchup 18 and 11. Boston 16 and 14. Pitching for Toronto is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 3.0. Pitching for the Red Sox is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 4.50. Kikuchi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Houck, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Toronto on a two-game losing streak, losing to Boston yesterday 6-5. Boston on a three-game winning streak. Toronto is 9-1 and one against Boston. 8-1 and one on the road against Boston. That's the first time Boston's beat Toronto in a long time. And uh, I'm going to just go with the numbers here. And, uh, you know, the fact that Boston hasn't beat them in a long time, really, except for the last game. I'll take Toronto on the road. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Kansas City Royals. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 155. The Royals plus 130 with the over under at 9. Baltimore coming into this matchup 19 and 9. The Royals 7 and 21. Pitching for the Orioles is Tyler Wells with an ERA of 2.79. Pitching for the Royals is Ryan Yarbrough with an ERA of 6.35. Um, Wells, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Yarbrough, his last start, he pitched uh, four innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Baltimore, on a two-game winning streak, back-to-back -back Detroit wins. Royals, uh, coming off a Minnesota loss. Baltimore, 6-1 and one on the road, 4-2 and two against Kansas City. And... Um, yeah, I like Tyler Wells on the mound. Yarbrough hasn't been that great here, and uh, I'm going to roll with the Orioles on the road. All right, next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Angels plus 110 with the over-under at 9. Angels coming into this matchup 15-14. and 14. Cardinals 10-18. and 18. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 3.16. Cardinals is Steven Matz with an ERA of 6.23. Sandoval, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Matz, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Angels coming off a Milwaukee win, St. Louis. On a three-game losing streak, they're 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Uh, they have not played well this season. Uh, St. Louis, rough, rough start for them. Um, yeah, I think I'll take the underdog with the Angels here. Uh, don't really like Matt's on the mound, and uh, Cardinals are just struggling as well. I'll take Angels plus 1.5 on the road. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Texas Rangers. Arizona opening up as road favorites at minus 145. The Rangers plus 125 with the over under at 7.5. Arizona coming into this matchup 16 and 12. The Rangers 16 and 11. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 2.15. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA of 3.91. 
Allen, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had 12 strikeouts. He has not allowed a run in his last three starts on the mound here. Uh, Gray, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Arizona coming off the Colorado loss. Rangers on a three-game winning streak. I mean, they came off a great series against the Yankees. Um, Arizona is 5-2 and two on the road against Texas. They've played well against the Rangers here. I still like the Rangers at home. Getting underdog value. I know Gallon's been good his last few starts. Uh, Rangers have been very good, though. And um, I think I, I still like the Rangers plus 1.5 at home. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the Houston Astros. Astros opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The Giants plus 145 with the over-under at 8. Giants coming into this matchup 11 and 17. The Astros 16 and 13. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony DeScafani with an ERA of 2.70. Pitching for the Astros is Hunter Brown with an ERA of 2.37. Day Sclafani, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Brown, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Giants, they're on a four-game losing streak right now, uh, coming off a Houston loss 7-3 to three yesterday. Uh, Houston on a two-game winning streak. Giants, one and six on the road against Houston, uh, one and seven on the road. They are not a good road team here. And uh, pretty even pitching matchup. I'm going to roll with the Astros at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Colorado Rockies. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 170. Colorado plus 140 with the over-under at 11.5. Brewers coming into this matchup 18-10. and 10. Rockies 8-20. and 20. Pitching for the Brewers is Freddie Peralta with an ERA of 3.77. Pitching for the Rockies is Ryan Feltner with an ERA of 4.68. Peralta, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Feltner, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Brewers coming off a Dodgers loss. Rockies coming off an Arizona win. Uh, Brewers are 9-3 and three against Colorado. Six and one on the road, getting it done on the road here. Um, I'm going to leave with the Brewers on the road. Rockies have just, they, they've had a rough start this season. They have not played well, and uh, I'll take the Brewers on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Cincinnati Reds. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Cincinnati plus 170 with the over under at eight and a half. Reds coming into this matchup 12 and 17. The Padres 16 and 14. Pitching for the Reds is Graham Ashcraft with an ERA of 2.10. Pitching for the Padres is Michael Wacha with an ERA of 6.75. Ashcraft, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Wacha, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Reds on a two-game losing streak, losing to the Padres 8-3 to yesterday. Padres on a three-game winning streak, actually playing pretty well as of late. 7-3 and in their last 10. Cincinnati 0-9 on the road against the Padres. A seven-game losing streak against the Padres. They have not been able to beat the Padres here. Watcha hasn't been the best on the mound here, but I'm just going to roll with the numbers and the fact that the Reds have not been able to beat them. And uh, I'll take the Padres at home. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners versus the Oakland Athletics. Seattle opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Oakland plus 120 with the over-under at 8. Seattle coming into this matchup 12-16. and 16. Oakland 5-23. and 23. Uh, Pitching for Oakland is Mason Miller with an ERA of 6.48. Currently can't find who's pitching for the Mariners, so be sure to check that out. It is a later game at night, so... Uh, you have plenty of time to check that info. Uh, Miller, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. Seattle coming off a Toronto win. Oakland coming off a Cincinnati win, their first win in over a week or so. Uh, Seattle is 11-4 and four on the road against Oakland. Uh, 
yeah, pretty much don't, don't, just don't trust Oakland here. Um, even with the pitching uncertainty from Seattle, I'm still going to take the Mariners on the road. And then the last matchup, we've got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Philly plus 135 with the over-under at 8. Philly coming into this matchup 15-15. and 15. The Dodgers 17-13. and 13. Pitching for the Phillies is Matt Strom with an ERA of 2.31. Pitching for the Dodgers is Julio Urias with an ERA of 4.41. From his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Julio, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs, had five strikeouts. He's coming off two bad starts on the mound. Uh, Philly getting killed yesterday against the Dodgers, 13-4. to um, Yeah, Philly is 1-4 and four against the Dodgers. Yeah, Julio having a rough couple games here. Um I think he could definitely step it up. Two bad games. I think he could bounce back. And um, I'm still going to roll with the Dodgers at home in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday. Hope you guys all cash out. And I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.